Hello. Hi, everyone. Good morning. As part of the today's session, I just want to give you a quick walkthrough on XQIFS API. The reason why we need to learn this API is if you can see the code that we have generated in the previous session, the first line here is an import statement. Import XP test. And here, this is the class followed by a class name, and it is extending this XP test case, which would be a parent class. And later, here we have a use the XEUI application. What are all these things? We don't know anything about these terms, right? What is a XP test? What is a XP test case? What is an XEUI application? All those things. We don't know anything about these things. That's the reason. If you have an idea on this XPUI API, then you can understand what are all the individual things are there and moving ahead, what are all the various methods we are going to use and all those things we can easily understand with this API. So this will provide the various sets of classes, whatever we have as part of this XCI test. So here is the official documentation reference link. I'm just placing it as part of our documentation. And now, so if you see from the left hand menu, I'm just picking up this XP test, an abstract basic class for creating, managing, and executing tests. So this XC test is the abstract basic class. So that's going to be the base class for which, using which you can create, you can manage, and you can execute your test. See here. The XC test class provides the shared functionality that XC test case test suite use for creating, managing, and executing the test. In most cases, use subclass XC test case directly when defining the test inside the project. Okay, so whenever you are using in a project, basically you use this XC test case directly. If you can see here, for this particular XC test, internally it has a setup method, it has a teardown method, the different sets of methods are there inside that, and here it has some perform method in order to execute it. For running a test, you have a perform and as well as a run method too. These are the various subsets of methods, whatever we have under this XC test. So if you can see your X code, import XC test, the reason why we have added this one is as this is the abstract base class to create, manage, and execute your UI test. Okay, perfect. So I understood why are we using this import statement for first. And later, the next one is XC test case. If you choose this left-hand side option, which is an XP test case, the primary class for defining the test cases, test method, and a performance test. So this is the primary class. So whatever the classes you are creating, if you want to implement the UI functionalities or the performance test for that particular one, for sure, this class should be the primary class and the further classes should be the secondary classes. So if you observe class followed by a class name, colon, this is the primary class, which is an X test case, basically. Okay, which is an XC test case. This is the primary class, basically. And of course, this primary class, again, this is coming from the XC test itself. A test case is a group of related test methods uh, with the optional setup tear down before and after executing the test. So here, it's not mandatory for you to define a setup and as well as a tear down. It's completely optional. Depending on your requirement, you can create these a setup and as well as a tear down terms. Okay. And if you see the various methods, whatever we have inside it. So for this performance chunk, we have a measure. So in order to measure the performance of that particular application, even you will be using this measuring chunk. Okay. And if at all you want to throw some exceptions explicitly, and if at all you want to wait for a particular object, all those things, everything we have here 
as part of this particular okay everything here we have as part of this particular xp test okay xp test case sorry this is as part of this xp test case and the next one is xcui application if you scroll down and if you can see that xcui application let me scroll down here and let me show you this xcui application okay so where is this xcui application so here a proxy that can launch monitor and terminate the application under test basically using the instance of these xcui application or using the xcui application you can launch the app you can monitor the app and even you can terminate that particular app too okay and of course you can use a wait command in order to perform some synchronization operations as well and this xcui application has in its launch okay launch with respect to an environment launch with respect to an arguments basically terminate activate state which will get the state of the application wait for certain interval and then you know all these are the various methods that you have inside of this xui application that's the reason if you observe in the previous session we used a app dot launch the app internally contains the xui application so you are launching the app and at the very first example even we used a terminate app as well that will be terminating the app instance the whole things are falling under xui application so we used xc test xc test case and xui application that we have discussed and a few more things are there here basically xc element you know if, if at all you want to interact with a certain ui object you are going to use this xc element and xc screen or a screenshot which is used to capture the screenshots so depending on our requirement we have these various kinds of options available in this official documentation so we will study all these chunks whenever it is required for now these three definitions are good enough for us to get started okay done the deal see you again in the next session thank you very much